Well, look what they're doing to the Americans now. Blindfolded bondage, physical and psychological tortures, bloodthirsty chance for death, destruction and deprivation to the very people who helped find and develop Iranian oil, welcomed Iranians to the American homeland and its colleges to teach them energy-saving techniques. In 1973, when the American Red Cross was temporarily broke because of disasters at home, I felt in a sweep of emotion that the Americans, the most generous people in world history, were being shortchanged and neglected. No one was coming to their help, and yet the Americans had helped almost anyone who asked. This was part of my regular work for Canadian consumption. My words were picked up by Americans who seemed surprised that a neighbor had a good word for them. Well, here I am again. If my feelings were uncomfortable over the way Americans were treated in 1973, they're in a seething rage now. Terrorism against innocent people, burning of national banners, insult and abuse to people who have helped and helped and helped. A malignant brooding man, cold as polar ice, uses inhumane tactics against the Americans who helped his country and his people move out of the Middle Ages. He does this with words which drip with venomous threat. The chant is taken up in other places. The more the Americans have helped, the more they seem to be threatened, degraded, and treated with loathing. And as I asked in 1973, who helps? Who is saying, deal us in? What can we do? Where is that aloof clutch of do-gooders who populate the United Nations building in New York? They say they are behind the scenes in negotiations. Well, that's not good enough. The time is here to speak up loud and clear. Outlaw the Iranians from the society of decent people. Some of the places where people have joined in the howl of hostility could barely survive without American help. Calcutta, Bangladesh, Pakistan. Their police take no action or slow action when flags are flamed, buildings burned, Americans with valid visas imperiled. And yet the people under the gun forbear. They continue to teach these visitors medicine, engineering, sanitation, electronics, and more. Iran flies American planes, which they've not paid for. Their leader says he will not pay even interest on national debts. The people who befriended his land and still protect Iranian people and property within American borders say his benefactors are thieves, monsters of evil, and wickedness. Dogs! This authorized abomination may one day be seen as blessing because it's reunifying the affronted people with a sense of purpose. The Americans aren't whimpering, they're growling. Those who try to stomp on them will pay dearly. Meantime, Men are punished for speaking, refused a bath or a change of clothing, ordered to get permission before visiting a toilet. Decent people don't behave that way. Barbarians do. A great nation is being humiliated before the world. There may be no spectacular vengeance, but vengeance there will be. And don't you ever forget it.